Good morning, my friend. I promised you this beautiful look with the blue blouse that I showed on the little short the other day. And I hope everybody got this blue blouse. It also comes in green. It's silky. It has the cuff sleeves. You can push them up or leave them down, actually. I don't want to put on makeup. It's probably better to push them up so I don't get something off them. <laughs> but it is just beautiful. It was $9.99. I'll put the link back up again. I still hope there's some left. I got extra large, but I get an extra large in everything. So I'm going to start off totally bare-faced. You know, I've been uh, using my a laser device to help so much with my wrinkles. But there's another little trick I also want to show you. Plus, you can use all your regular moisturizers. It doesn't hurt because your skin will dry out on you. But there's another little trick I wanted to show you that I haven't showed you yet. Because um, the near laser has been wonderful for my wrinkles. But nothing can do our jowls. Let's face it. That is pure facelift time. When, when, not when you're in your 30s and 40s and 50s. Your jowls are not facelift time. That's just what, you know, the narrow laser will come in and help you don't end up with jowls. But if you haven't started skincare until your 70s like I did when I started YouTube, I really never took care of myself. And I just started again using Retin-I, I think two years ago. And, uh, um... So it's not going to take these things right here. These stacking little things right here. It'll tighten underneath here and all but it. It can't lift those up. That's, that's saggy skin. And, and mine really got bad because, like I say, I lost front and I lost, actually I have four left front. But I left all the, lost all the top and bottom teeth. Back in those days, it was a horrible reason they got pulled out. We can afford to do the fillings. It was much cheaper to pull them all out at one time back in those days. And I faintly, even though my memory is going, remember it was excruciating pain. I remember the dentist pulled them all out and gave us some, gave me a metal plate, which I still have, doesn't fit at all anymore. <laughs> my whole mouth's totally changed, and some teeth have fallen out of the metal plate. So I don't even know how to do. But um, it was it was easier than to have your teeth pulled. Than to have them fixed, I would give anything for my real teeth back and a beautiful white smile. That's why when people say, "Oh, well, she's had surgery," or "No, she's poor," she doesn't. I have panic attacks. Heaven knows if I have a heart attack and they tell me I have to have surgery. Just the fear of the surgery alone would probably give me another heart attack, which I did have a heart attack at home one time. Anyway, I've already done the front of my eyebrows, and I want to tell you the reason. Um, you know, my eyebrows are gray, just like yours. If you're older than me, don't think my skin's any better than yours because it isn't. I have a lot of lights on me and I like I got, I got the, the laser as a gift so I wouldn't have been able to afford that. I would have probably used their financing but I, I've been blessed to receive such a wonderful gift and that helped a lot and moisturizers and I did the front of my eyes. I kind of think if we have hooded eyes the more we take over this hood, I, I think, don't always take anybody's opinion, mine, anybody else's, if it doesn't look good on you, what looks good on you is your best. I just give you some hints of things to try. But I believe, I've already just put the front part on right here, because I've gotten older, my front part doesn't start up here anymore where it's supposed to start. You can always see just a little hair, gray hairs there. But I've already done that part right there with the uh, NYX in the taupe, which looks a little dark to me. But and I went just little hair-like strokes. It's hard to even hold a, a that pencil when you get older and you get that osteoporitis, whatever it is, through all your joints. But I'm going to use that was the taupe color. And I'm going to use the um, light brown in the light ash one to go a little bit more on the ends that I lifted up to make a, a higher arch. And to be honest with you, I kind of think that was a little bit of a mistake because when we tweeze things now, they don't come back. So now I'm going to have to go with that like that constantly because I went crazy and tweezed the ends off. I kind of think you should let them come down a little bit, but still get them going up high. We're going to get them going up high. I'd like for them to end there, but if I do, see, I'm going to have to go. Wow, I don't know why that ash.
finish it. I hope it's showing it. Must be showing up because it's really dark here. Because some of the things that show up really dark on me. See, I see where I plucked away all of this. So now I have to put fake hairs. And I have to put them going up. Which in a way can make you look kind of evil. Well, I think that's my opinion. Just because I say something doesn't mean it's out of heaven's the truth or anybody. If this doesn't look good on you, then don't do it. But if it looks good on you, I kind of think the more we bring it into here. See, I have nothing left here. I'm just making fake ones. And I'm making it straight. Across. I kind of think that covers. See? I'm going to cover up that arch. Back in my day, it was so important to have that big arch right there. Covering that up a little and making it thicker. I think you're going to like that better. Try it. Who's going to see it? If your family tells you it looks horrible, then that sucker looks horrible. Because you need to go to your husband. If you're still blessed and you're, you still have your husband and you're my age. Or... Or a family member, like my, I'll get in the car sometimes, and my son will say, "Oh no," because he didn't look at me rushing out the door. And be like, Your makeup got caked. And I was like, "It did? I did a YouTube with it." And he's like, "No, it got caked." Like my my wonderful Derma Blend that I love. We went to the doctor's, his doctor. He's seeing a neurologist now. Thank the Lord. When we got in the car, he was driving and he glanced over at me. He said, "Oh no, you're caked too." The uh, gels, just through the gels area. I was like, oh, no, seriously? I was like, yeah. And your rouge, you, you didn't blend it in good enough. I couldn't see that either. So if your family member tells you something looks terrible, why would they kid you? Go always ask your mother, your father, your husband, your wife, your partner. Just ask some, some family member, tell me the truth. What does it look like? Believe me, they'll tell you the truth. Because once in a while, they'll, like I say, they'll they'll jump me like, you went just too far. I'm going to use the Derma Blend again today for you. Oh, I love it. It matches my skin color perfectly. But I'm going to put this old, this thing is so old. I, this eye will stink. I don't know. Some of my makeup is really, really old. I hoard makeup. It's terrible. I'm fanatic about cleaning the house, but now the house is getting, now that I'm getting older, I'm getting a lot of things hoarding. I really need some of my children, but they have their own lives, so they can't help me. I need a big dumpster to come in. But I'm going to try this mineral finish all through this part for a change instead of the Derma Blend when we get to that. But so far, all I've done is with the Wet n Wild Waterproof, I always do this, and this is one thing I want you to always do. One uh, lady asked me, do I wear makeup every single day? Yes, I do. But I do not wear face makeup every single day. No. I let my skin breathe while I'm doing laundry and cleaning and dusting and vacuuming. It's probably breathing that too, but I don't care. I don't wear face makeup. I just wear lipstick and my eyes. And sometimes I don't put any eyeshadow on, which is most of the time I'll just use one like like a, a bronzer right up here and just wing it out. It looks so, so natural. Actually, I'll do that for you next if you like what I just wear around during the day. I do not wear face makeup, just concealer. Mascara today. I wore the Lancome. I did. I did all. I worked for Lancome for years. <laughs> Forgot how to say it. I I do. I do Oh, for heaven's sakes. Took me forever back then to learn. Anyway, always line. Even if you're not gonna wear eyeliner, just put it in here. Most women do it this way. It's through here, it's not running across your lashes. I just can't do that. I have to hold my whole eye open. I don't know why it's so gross. And then that you can be done for eyeliner for the day. A little piece of mascara got stuck there. But you know, I like to come a little heavy right here. This is retractable, it's waterproof, which is good because it's not going to go down on my lower lid. But right through here, I like to make it a little thicker. Like you see, I'm still at the bottom, but it's coming through at the top a little bit. And that gives me a little winged. I'm still inside that inner rim, but I'm working from the inner rim a little bit to the outside. I don't want to go downward with that. So that was the black that's on the top. But I know what you all really want to see 
are those um, Moira pretty sterling things I've ever seen. I'm going to use my hand. Oh. I'm going to show you the one I had on red eyeshadow. Red and taupe. Taupe is basically like your blush. I mean like your root. Your, um, a con I would say contour, but please don't contour unless you're going to do your nose and do your cheeks when you get older. Um, your bronzer. Like I said, I, my, when I'm by myself, I just put bronzer right through here. Some bronzer I put on my face to make it look like I wasn't embalmed. <laughs> Some color like that. But today we're going to put on the uh, the Moira. You all loved the green, but I want to show you the colors they come in. I put them all. Let's put them all in front of me. As you know, this is really not right to have this much makeup. I just... I just feel so greedy. And when I was young, I didn't have makeup like this. I was lucky to have a lipstick or a pencil. I guess I went crazy and started buying more things than I should have. But anyway, we're going to do... I had the green. This is the green. Moira. And it, it's color changing. I want to show you the ones I have. There's the green right here, which I'm going to use on my eye. Sorry, my mirror is way down here. And I even put a little bit above that day to show you. But I want to show you a blue one on the other eye. I'm going to look stupid with one green and one blue eye, but nobody's going to see me. There's the green. Now I want to show you. Here's the green on my hand. See, see what I mean about lighting? That's why you don't see so many wrinkles. You don't even see that. You cannot see that, can you? Can you see that? Does, does it look like one of my green veins? That's how you know when you have olive skin. Your veins are close to that color. Greenish blue. That's the green. Might as well do the other eye while I have that one out. Because I'm going to line the other eye. This eye is lined right here. Just from midway outward. With that green. There's the green. Here's the purple. It's beautiful. Each one of these are only like, I believe $6.99. I'll link them. Am I just picking veins? There we go. It looks like blue, doesn't it? But it's purple. And when I turn my hand... I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it kind of changes to silvery and changes colors. These are beautiful to put on your eyes. Just beautiful. And so far, I haven't had any problem with them watering up. So I showed you the green. And I want to... Don't tell me. All morning. I'm sorry. Don't tell me. After a while of you doing YouTube, you'll start to talk to yourself. I lost the blue one. It was the prettiest one of them all. I had an awful time finding it for you. I'm telling you, my stuff jumps in the trash can to get away from me. Seriously. I have had found. I'll tell my son something's missing. He'll be like, look, check your trash can. There it is. I've got to get away from her. She's using me to death. The blue one is actually gone again because I dropped my cosmetic case. The blue one was so pretty. Well, it comes in blue too. That's the green and the violet. But the blue one jumps bored. I have to dig through the trash when this video is over. <laughs> it's in hiding. Now here's the. Uh, I thought this was more of a too. It's long lasting eyeshadow stick, which I generally do not like. In Kiko, another blue that changes colors. So you think my hair is not falling out? You see it stuck on that? Let's put this right here. This also changes color. Isn't that beautiful? I think this one was only about $5 or so, too. It's going to drive me crazy. That blue one. That's the one I wanted to show you. The blue is so pretty. The blue Mora. 
was probably the prettiest of them all. But we're going to line the blue right here on a little bit on the top. Blue looks good on everybody. Their skin tone, everybody. But, you know, kind of went out of style from back in my day. Took a little of that blue and put over top. It's not as pretty as the blue Moira one. That one was really pretty, but it jumped forward trying to save itself. I'll probably find it mixed in with a brush somewhere. That's the Moira, the blue. Again, on my hand. The blue's over here. Changing color. They all kind of change color. They're all on Amazon. I guess I only get stuff on Amazon because I very rarely leave the house. So we're going to, now I'm going to put on some concealer. I've been mixing concealer instead of putting powder over top because I, I, I need some eye cream right there. I know eye cream, same thing as face cream really, but it's a little stronger. But so I don't like to put face cream underneath my makeup. Though I decided with the Derma Blend, I really had to use the baby skin the other day when I put it on with my son as a primer and I don't like primers but the baby skin has a lot of silicone in it but I'm going to put on my concealer now and this is the L L Laura Mercier that I found I have deep set right here And I'm going to mix it. I always put it on with this brush. I always forget to tell you the name of this brush. I'm so sorry. Now that I'm getting older, I'm forgetting a lot of things. I hate realizing it. So I realize I really am getting older. It's like, I'm so afraid. I don't want to get the brain scan my son's getting because I'm afraid they're going to say, your mother's starting to get a little bit of Alzheimer's or, or dementia or something. I'm like, oh no, I knew it. Something, something, I'm forgetting a little bit too much. Like the other day, my son, I did the laundry, and my son said, said Mom, did you do the laundry uh, yet this morning? I was like, no, because he said, I, I can't find the pants. So I had taken his pants and threw them in the wash and left his keys, and nowadays they have those keys that can't get wet. It's just push-button things, so you, could start your car from in the house. And he said, you didn't, did you? And I was like, oh no, I did, but I didn't start up the wash yet because he leaves at 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. Thank heaven I hadn't started up the wash or he wouldn't be able to drive. And so he orders a new set of keys because they have some kind of look, you know, push button thing on them nowadays. Just not back in my day. We just had a regular key in the car. The headlights and all didn't turn themselves off and all like they do nowadays. For some reason, this is the e.l.f. pink powder that I'm blending with that. And for some reason, it doesn't stick in my wrinkles this way. I, I don't understand. If you, put, if you put the powder on first, it does. I mean, if you put the concealer, you can use any kind of concealer. And just put your concealer on and then put a little bit of e.l.f. or the NYH. That, the, the uh, transparent one, is fantastic. This time I thought I'd just try the pink because I'm going to put some pink where I'm sunken in. Here, I'm not going to bring my, uh, I'm going to put a little bit of Baby Soft primer on through here catch a little bit of the uh, derma blend because that, I loved that makeup color. It's a perfect color for my skin, but see, I still have, I still have some. I'm going to show you something that's holding some of this up. I still have some uh, jowls. They've gotten a thousand times better, but well, we'll just let that primer sit for a minute while we do the red eyeshadow that you wanted to see. This was the red MAC. I believe it's called Holt. 
I don't think there's going to be anything on our blouse. Yeah. H-A-U-T-E. Halt sauce. Sauce. I want you to use a taupe with that. A taupe as a center. You can, if you have the uh, ColourPop taupes, anything like this is a taupe. Anything you have like this. Doesn't have to be ColourPop. It's I, I'm telling you, I think there's three eyeshadows that everybody should own. Three eyeshadow palette would be. Well, I'll, t I'll mention my favorite palettes. I don't think you need anything else other than them, or the color kitten. I mean, the coffee kitten. That right there on the end is a taupe, and this is a taupe, and this is a very, very light taupe. We're gonna put a taupe one. We're going to use the one we always use right here on the end. So I've got a little looser brush. Really, I should have picked that a little looser brush. This is kind of a tight, squared off top brush. You'd be surprised how much difference the brushes make. That doesn't quite fluff it out enough. But always put it the first spot where you want it the darkest, which is up here. Heading upward. Third one again, the darkest taupe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm we'll gonna use the lightest taupe right in here. Now we're gonna go with the red. We'll try to get into that wrinkle right there. Sunk in wrinkle with the white. Because this is white powder. Eyeshadow is powder. <laughs> so, you know, when people say powder your eyelids, eyeshadow is powder. Well, powdered ones are. Okay, that was with your taupe or your bronzer. Anything that you kind of want to blend in with the red. I don't like this pencil in the red. Because, well... I want a little something more pointed at the end. This has, I love double ended pencils. They're so, I mean, you can flip them around and use them again. Above the crease. Can you see that red? This is a nice color red there. I used to love Mac Mac, but still do. I don't know why it's not popular much anymore. I mean, you can find so much of this in TJ Maxx. Yeah, you know how I always tell you to finish off with your rouge up there? This is basically the same thing, because we're going to use this as rouge. But I'm going to go very lightly. If I was putting that on somebody, I wouldn't blow on it. Especially, I have a sinus infection. My eyes are. I wouldn't dare do that to somebody. Blow on them. Blow on this powder. But it's just myself. See that red going out there? Well, I'm not going to go into the hollowed out area. Because we know that's always hollowed out. And I'm going to put a tiny bit. This brush is a little big on the end. I'm use a smaller one, shaped like that, even smaller. A little bit down here, underneath that green. Cause I don't want to look like I have pink eye. Cause I'm having trouble with this eye anyway, blurring out. Oh, and by the way, you all mentioned. I am not one to say. Oh, thank you for saying I have beautiful eyes because I don't. My eyes are cataract red. They're dark brown with big cataracts on them. There's the red underneath. These are Desio contacts. Desio does not even know I exist. Though I've asked them if I could go on their website, but they're like, I don't think so. So I don't know. But these are Desio and Rebel Gray. I also were dying to show you the Angelic Blue, but they weren't. Not that pretty. 
you could barely find them in the case they were so white so I thought oh those are going to look beautiful in over top of dark brown eyes well they did they they showed up really pretty but they see how these have a black ring around to make it look really outstanding these colors I think these are the attitude colors the rebel gray always if you're going to get the desios or any contacts look and see if you have that dark rim around the corner of your eye around the outer skirt of your eye because it makes it look so much more natural it just it just makes your eyes pop so that's our red blended in so we're also going to use that as a blush today I'm gonna spray my brush because my son told me this stuff caked when I went heavily into the wrinkles and you know a sponge is gonna soak it up more if you want to put it on with a sponge but always whenever you do a brush also remember try not to go because you're just kind of wiping it off you're wiping it all to a certain area like right there just kind of do circulars the way you want also even if you have wrinkles you'll get into those wrinkles a little bit better see there's a red spot right there I guess but I, I derma blend was around when I was young derma blend Mac when derma Bank first came out Oh, people were using those for uh, to cover cut tattoos and really a bad spot on your face or a pimple. Everybody was using dermaplanes. It was like the hiding makeup to hide something. See, it really looks natural. I, I was shocked when my son told me it got stuck in my wrinkles down here. But then anything's going to get stuck in there because the daggone wrinkles are still there a little bit. I mean, they're so much, so much better than they used to be. They used to be pits. <laughs> they're like wrinkle pits. Now they're just wrinkles that somebody probably in their 50s or 60s would be getting. Not in their... I'm in my mid-70s. Well, yeah, I'll be 76 in a month. So, we're going to use this mineralized... See, I didn't go down here with the makeup. I might pounce a little bit around here. But I'm going to use this mineralized powder, which is shiny. I should have either stayed... You practice on your own face. I should have stayed with the... I wish you could all send me pictures. I'd be so glad to do makeovers on you, but I don't know how to use a computer to get your picture there, to send it or to send it back to you or to pick it up. But I'm going to put light into where I'm sunken. I ever listen to that down here or, or someone says, smile. No, that's not good. Don't because that smile drops you here. Right by my lips. See, that's awful. It's awful. You don't want to do that. And we're going to use that um, eyeshadow again. As a rouge, I would rather have a smaller pen. This is kind of a big brush to get into this little teeny thing. What it is, my kids hate it when I wear rouge. They love it when I put bronzer there, but not rouge. So that's why I'm trying to really blend it in. Yeah, I blended it in good as a rouge too. That's a really a double. That's a double whammy. You don't have to worry about blending it into your eyes. It's already up there. Now you should always take your blush and put up here when you're done. It's already up there. We don't have any fake eyelashes on or anything today either. I'm tired of putting them on at this age. So I think we, I've showed you everything except you wanted to see the lipsticks. And I also want to show you... Um, the, the two glimmer lipsticks that I have. The, the lipstick that I was wearing was the CoverGirl. 
this thing lasts forever. They're not kidding. Considering this is not one of these, um, you know, these liquid type that stay on forever. The, the uh, Maybelline inks. I believe L'Oreal makes them too. I'm going to line my lips. Okay, the lip liner tried to escape too, obviously. We're gonna, I always love to line with a brown because brown leaves a little tint like your lips are a little larger. So I'm going to use the ColourPop brown lip pencil. I'll list the name of it because I can't see it. See, it just leaves a little cast. See, thanks to the skincare I've been doing lately, my wrinkles are so much less. I'm trying to go straight across right here. I know that sounds ridiculous. Don't go up into here. Just straight across here. Kind of deep down plunge right there. And then, if you like, your two points. I like to join the points together, but so many people don't, and I can't blame them. Then I'm going to put the mahogany right underneath it, so they blend in together. You'll see a glimpse of the brown, and then the NYX mahogany. The brown one a little lower than the mahogany. The color pop brown one. The mahogany is right above it. Blend with your finger. Blend in all the lip pencils. And that's what I was wearing was the cover girl. Sunny days the new one. You'll have to recognize it by this case. If you look on Amazon and I'll link it. But I also want to show you the two glitters. The NYX glitter that I had on and then another glitter that was really pretty. But once I put this on, it's going to be hard to get this off. You'll see how good this stays. I wash my face at night and I'm like, I can't believe the CoverGirl lipstick still stayed on. Through an entire day of housework and feral kittens on the back porch still. No help from the rescue society, as they said. Okay. They make it so clear that they're going to help people. If, poor kittens. Poor me if I get scratched or bitten. Because, like I said, I have possums and snakes come up in my backyard. That's your sunny days cover girl. Really beautiful. Beautiful. Gonna wipe it off. Oh, what is you gonna see? It doesn't want to come off. Look, it's really wiping hard. See? So you can see these other lipsticks. This is the one, I better do this one first and then the NYX. Because these are glittery and you'll never have to wear a lip gloss with them. And everybody will say, oh my heavens, what's on your lips? They're so shiny. This is called Glimmer Lip Spark. is a paler one than the NYX and this is not made by NYX this must be by the Glimmer Company I'll put the link these are, so you don't, don't feel obligated to buy anything these are not affiliated links they're just I'm, put, I'm sharing the links with you beautiful glittery glittery lipstick gonna wipe that one off now. Let's put that on my hand too so you can see it. Because you're not getting a true. Any spots left in between the veins? Can you see the glitter in that? I 
Let's wipe that one off. You gotta get that cover growing. It's credit boy. That thing. It wants to stay under everything. Now the NYX glitter. I believe this one's called Radiance. Or Radical. They're all around the seven dollar range. Nothing twenty dollars, I don't believe. The way prices go up now they probably did. This one's really pretty, but it's a little darker. To be honest with you, the NYX is much prettier and it came in different colors. A little darker, quite a bit darker. If you make a mistake like this, you can always take concealer. Actually, just to make sure your concealer never does, I mean your lipstick never does run, into your lip lines. Always get a little bit of your concealer. I'm not going to go over that brown. It's going to go above it. Mostly the corners. Because the lipstick went into the corners. That one bled down. And when we get older and go into the corners, we turn into the Joker a little bit. Now, I believe that's everything. I believe that's I showed you the colors on my hand. Oh, I, there was just one more trick I wanted to show you. Now, I'll, I'll do a whole thing about pin curls again because everyone asks, but they're really so easy in these colors of the Moira. Yeah, I'll probably find the blue. When, when the video goes off, I'll be like, here's the blue. The blue one's really pretty. You'll see it on the website, on the Amazon website. It looks really, really pretty. And red eyeshadow, we used this rouge. And uh, I put on the, the soft skin underneath the Derma Blend because I like this so much. But I've been finding a lot of makeup set. Now that my wrinkles have decreased so much that I can wear so much easier because there were wrinkles everywhere. Now they're just, I just have jowls hanging. This is something that I don't have to show you, but I'm going to because I want you to do what's best for you. I have not received a time yet from, in three years, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I should be associated links with Amazon so I can make some money off of those clothing that's sold, but I haven't received a time. I'm just here, really, I want to help anybody look better. Like one time I bought uh, hair extensions and I showed them to you. Boy, my hair looked so full. And you can make your own hair. And they, they were only $30. And, but but I don't have them in now. But I'm, I always tell you when I have them in. And I've always told you whenever I used to use face tapes. But I don't have to use face tapes anymore. Because of that. Uh, see these things? Right here. These are, um, these are little stickers. But I swear I think you can buy plain clear tape too. This is going to be hard for me to open and will probably be the hardest part. I, mean, I should have opened it. It's like a band-aid. Using my thumbs is so painful when they get older. Okay, this looks like a band-aid, right? See the jowls are still remaining. These pointy little things right here. I'm going to tuck it back with this tape, but now it's going to be hard because I put makeup on. You're not supposed to have makeup on. Take the back pieces off, and yet you're still going to have the blue showing. See? Can you still see it? The blue is still on there. Took the back pieces off. Pull your gels to where you're going to put your earrings. But you're supposed to alcohol first, and... Now I've got makeup there first, so I'm just going to show you what to do. You practice this stuff on your own. See how it pulls your face in? And <laughs> my face, the wrinkles are almost gone now, thanks to the machine. And then this, the, the gels, is actually, you need a facelift for that. But we're going to put, we're going to pull the skin back. 
the middle. This, right? Keep that. I'm trying to get it down on the neck. Let's see if this works. Over top of makeup. I don't think it's going to work over top. That was cream makeup, too. Hold it for as long as you can. Because <sighs> it's going to pull a little bit. Now, this. I want to pull it down on my neck. See it going down on my neck? I'm going to pull this and this is going to stretch. See it stretch? And I'm going to hold it again. It's stretched. It may not last long, but it will last long enough for you to figure that, this out on your own. Because the reason it might not last long now is because I have makeup on underneath it. You're supposed to put alcohol first and make sure your skin's really dry where you decide to put this tape. But. That is holding back some of my jowl. See the blue? Now the, the blue is going to peel right off the top. See it? Drop that in the trash can. That willingly went in the trash can. See the little blue? We oh, yeah, the tape is still there. See the dots? And that helps hold back your jowls. Right here. And now I can't find the darn thing when I can barely feel it. That's how invisible that tape is. I mean, so you never know. Somebody, you think, oh my gosh, they have no wrinkles and they're beautiful. Mm, I might be holding the face up with the tape. What I mean, it held the gels. That was just one. You can put a couple of them everywhere. You can go either again if you want. Boy, I put that lipstick on crooked. Let's overtop that one a little bit with the cover girl because that thing is driving me crazy the way I messed it up. There's so much glitter there. This cover girl will last and last. God bless you. Thank you so much. If you see anything you like, and I'll come back with a really, really natural look if you want. The stuff I wear during the day because, as I said, someone asked. Do you wear makeup every day? And yes, I do. I will wear eye makeup and lipstick and concealer if my bags are showing. If not, and mascara. And, but I always do that little inner rim. I don't care what. Because that makes your eyelashes look so much fuller. Where you really won't need any eyeliner. Or just... And, and any kind of bronze... Um, bronzer. Always just a little drop of that up headed upward. Always looks gorgeous. But if you want to wear some eyeshadow, this is red for a change. This is just, um, I use my L'Oreal, the um, L'Oreal shampoo and conditioner. And then I always coat it with coconut oil from mid shaft down. I'll pull it all back when it's wet and then just rub coconut oil in between my hands and put it all down there. But I'll, if you'd like that again, I'll show that to you again. I believe it's somewhere further back in my videos. God bless each and every one of you. I am so blessed to have the nicest people in the world. Thank you so much. Have a great week. I hope I showed everything. I'll link these. Beautiful. Moira and the other one was by Kiko. The big thick one that's on this eye. God bless. Thank you. Goodbye.